How to create fillable PDF form in Google Docs. Hi guys, you're probably here because you want to make professional emails with less effort. In which case, I'd like to introduce you to Google Docs extension. It's called Fillable Document. Technically, it makes email editing easy for you. It's somewhat complicated at first, but you don't have to worry about that because in this video, we're going to tackle only the necessary steps you need to understand how it works. What you want to do is go to docs.google.com. Select any format you prefer, but in this video, we'll have to use letter. What you want to do is to look for sections or keywords that you want to make fillable or modifiable for later use. For example, I want to make this section editable for later. I'll just have to type in dollar sign and close it with curly braces just like this. And you're going to have to do it with other info that you wish to change for later. Do the same with your company name, address, contact number, email, date, etc. Fast forward, it could look like this, but you can be creative because it's your company, it's your style. After making this template, what you want to do is to look for the extension that we're going to use in this video. On the search bar, type in fillable document, select this extension, and install it in your browser. After installation, the extension should be here, and just click Start to start. For example, I want to change the type of this field to date because it's a date. I'll just have to click on it and change the field type just like this. There are other options that I recommend for you to explore by yourself to get the best out of it. After revisions, click on Open Web Form. You'll be required to sign in with Google once again. From here, you'll just have to fill up the form. After you're done with the content, just click on Generate and you'll be sent here. What you can do is to click on Send as email to proceed and type in your client's receiving email. Click send email if you're good with what you're going to send. Just a reminder that this tool is commonly used for professional purposes and to let you know, you have to invest a bit to get the best of its purpose. Personally, I think it's a good investment if your company is growing quite fast. That's it for this video. I hope you are able to follow through. And if you enjoyed the video, consider giving the channel a subscription. It's free. And click on the like button. This helps the video reach people in need like you. That's it. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video.